All right, this is Joey with Geekadoras here at the 2017 Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. Joining me today is Carlos Molina of Project Cars. How's it going? It's going very, very well. Uh, I just want to tell everybody out there, we've been in the automotive industry since 94. This is our first year working with the comic industry, and all we receive is just love and support. It is so amazing, the people that are involved in this industry and how much help they've provided for us to do these builds. I mean, you could, you'll see on the, on the photos and uh, videos that they've, uh, they've, they've worked with Todd McFarlane to make a, a, a series of amazing, just amazing uh, Spawn-themed cars here. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about some of the works you have here? Okay, we have, we have two Mustangs, well, one Mustang GT and a GT350 and a 2017 Jeep. The GT350 right now is, is stock, but it's going to get modified for SEMA but it's getting the spawn wrap that the supercharged Mustang has already. Supercharged Mustang has a litany of different modifications. I mean, we burn a set of Toyo tires in less than five minutes. It's on a six set of tires. It's uh, 780 horsepower at the wheel, has KW suspension, a lot of carbon fiber, a lot of go fast stuff. The Jeep uh, actually is a replacement vehicle. We had a CRX that was going to be in chart here with the Mustang to get two demographics. The CRX was totaled at the end of April, so I made a decisive uh, decision and I purchased the Jeep the second week in, in uh, May and we built this Jeep in five weekends. Wow. Wow. I was just going to ask how long it typically takes well, you to do one five, of these. Yeah, it's, I mean, normally something like this would take us about three or four months because of all the intrinsities and the powder coating and everything that goes in it, but uh, all the guys got together and they really want to do this because a lot of the guys are actually comic fans too. And some of them are, you know, they follow Spawn and some like me have been collecting Spawn comics since it first came out in 92. So you're saying these cars could raise hell? Uh, uh, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if, if you, this is, the Jeep is what we call the Violator Hunter. That's why it has issue number four on the cover. Nice. And it, you know, it has everything from, you know, he's seeking missiles, as armaments on the side, as spikes, as chains. You know, we have more weapons, but we just don't want to scare anybody here, especially with the, with what's going on with security. So, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's uh, by SEMA time frame, we'll have a supercharger on the Jeep and boost up its horsepower and torque as well. Now, do you have any other comic related projects uh, planned for the future? Hopefully, we, we want to talk to some of the uh, some of the artists here. One of the meetings we're going to have later on is with Rob Leefield. Um, there's been talks with doing something with Marvel, uh, but we did do a, a, a Deadpool GT350 last year for SEMA. Um, we didn't get the, uh, uh, I didn't know that there was approvals involved, so we just, you know, did the wrap and put it on. And then after dealing with Guy, I found out there's a, you know, there is a process. And so we follow that process with Todd McFarlane and the Todd McFarlane group for the vehicles. But yeah, we, we'd love to do more themed vehicles. These, this is fun. This is fun. Is there any kind of dream, uh, dream license or dream uh, uh, conversion you'd love to do uh, if you could get any, any approval, any license? I, and, 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 I, and I'm not blowing purple smoke up my butt right <laughs> here, but, or yours. Um, but if there would have been a dream, it would have been with Tom McFarlane. Because I actually, this is, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have a master's in engineering. So during college time, way back when, um, Spawn and Image was like my getaway. And so I grew, I, you know, that was, that's what I know. I mean, I know Marvel, I know the X-Men and X-Factor and all that. But, but Spawn, I, I, I can relate. And so this is the dream build to do. Um, I, I would love to do some work with uh, Rob, Rob Leefield. We've already done some renderings. Um, I'd like to do something with Cable or something with uh, Deadpool again. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah this, is, this is the coup de grace right here. So then if people want to get in touch with you, if you, people just want to see your work, uh, where would they go? Uh, we, we're on all social media. We have a YouTube channel. We're on Facebook, of course, or uh, Instagram and Twitter, and of course, email. Um, and we're, we post all the time. We post different types of builds. We, we go to a lot of different shows throughout the country. We do about 37 uh, out-of-town shows a year. Uh, and then we also do SEMA and CES here in Las Vegas. But if you want to get a hold of me, I mean, it's just spell project wrong and cars, and then you can find me. It's P-R-O-J-E-K-T-C-A-R-S. 
and we're on, like I said, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and we have a lot of YouTube videos. And we normally do a video after every show. So after this show, there's gonna be a really cool, you know, Comic Con slash automotive video created. All right, thank you for your time. This is Carlos Molina with Project Cars here at Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con.